serve as I serve my brew. I'm cool with the work I do. Clock ticks in the world. What is up guys, Groge Gaming here, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Before we start, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys. We are about to hit um, 5k subs, which is just absolutely insane. Groge Gang is uh, definitely really, really strong. So when we do hit 5k subs, I want to know what you guys think I should do for a special. Um, I'm not really sure, I have got maybe could maybe do like a 5 hour stream, live stream, that might be pretty cool. But yeah, thank you guys so much for your continued support. It really means a lot to me and I get to do what I enjoy doing because of you guys basically so yeah thanks a lot and um, what we're going to be doing today is taking a look at the balance changes I'll just quickly run through them because I'm sure you guys have already seen them and then what we're going to do is just look at potential new meta decks that I've come up with and yeah decks that potentially could be the best in the game once the balances go live on the 11th of December as we go through the changes I'm just going to throw up some replays uh, from the sudden death challenge of me using these new decks that I think will be really really strong so I want to know your opinions on the decks uh, what you think we could change, what you think might not work, what might work. Um, so yeah, let me know down below and then we'll have a discussion there. So let's just go through the uh, the changes really quickly. So we've got Hog Rider. Um, his hit speed is slowed to 1.6 from 1.5. First attack comes 0.1 seconds slower. So basically he's just going to hit a little bit slower. And yeah, I think that's going to be an okay nerf. He shouldn't be unusable. He should be okay, I think. Um, and then we've got the Knight. Hit speed to 1.2 from 1.1. So just a little bit slower bringing him down uh, to potentially where he needs to be. He's too strong right now, just does so much damage on defense. Um, and then we've got the Prince, pretty big buff. We've got a 5% hit point increase, which is pretty strong. And then we've got a 1.4 hit speed from 1.5. So he's going to hit quicker and have more health. So he's definitely going to be um, a force to be reckoned with, especially in lower arenas as well. He's going to be even more overpowered uh, than he already is down there. But um, interesting to see if he comes into the competitive scene at all. I don't know, maybe not. Uh, the damage spells are going to receive a nerf. So they originally do 40% of their troop damage. Um, and now they're only gonna, now they're going to do 35% of their troop damage. And I learned this from OJ, OJ. So it's not a 5% decrease of the crown tower damage that they do. It's a 5% it's a from the 40% that they already do. So I believe Rocket received a pretty big nerf, which I'm really happy about. Didn't like seeing log bait being so strong and... And spell cycling being being so crazy, so that's good. Uh, Ice Golem, death damage, slow effect is reduced from 2 seconds to 1 second. So it's not going to slow things down as much when it does die. And I think that's a great change because um, it was just such a great mini tank for all kinds of decks. And just offered too, too much value. So hopefully this will this will bring it down a bit, uh, but still be usable. Um, so I'm excited about this one actually, the Skeleton Barrel. Uh, death damage added. So I think we're going to be seeing some Lava Hound decks. And I've got one for you guys to try out tomorrow. And the rest of the week, you guys might like it. I don't know. It seems pretty strong. Uh, Giant Skeleton, this is kind of mm, meh. 5% uh, hit points. He's still going to be a bit clumsy. He gets distracted too easily. So, I don't know. He might be more usable, but we'll see. And then this is the big one. This is the one that's going to be in all of the meta decks, I do think. Uh, it's the Guards. So, they're receiving a 5% HP increase. A 5% damage increase. And the hit speed is getting reduced. So, it's quicker from 1.1. No, from 1.2 to 1.1. So they're going to have a, uh, a pretty big uh, damage per second increase. And obviously the hit points helps as well. So I definitely think I've got I've got guards in quite a lot of the, the decks that I've created. Just to uh, emphasize how much they will be in the meta, I do think. Uh, kind of replacing goblins. Because goblins are getting a nerf. Goblins, uh, which affects goblins, goblin gang, goblin barrel. They're all receiving a damage nerf of minus 6%. So I'm, I'm excited about this. Goblin barrel isn't going to be a strong... Because you've got the Goblin Barrel and the Gang. So that's really good. Goblins were just too easily, too easy to use. And just got so much value for two Elixir. So that's a good little change. Um, Elixir Collector. Kind of getting hit pretty hard. Hit points minus 13. So I believe Fireball and Poison is now going to be an even trade. Lightning can completely wipe it out. So it's going to be interesting to see how um, Pump Decks do now. I think they'll still be okay. But just it's going gonna, it's gonna to help a lot. They're not going to be as overpowered. Because... Um, an Elixir Collector before could just completely ruin a game. If you don't have the right rotation, if you don't have you know the right spells in hand or right cards to punish, you just you just ruin it. Just ruins the rest of the game. So I'm happy about that. Uh, Mortar has been fixed, so the minimum range bug is uh, fixed, which is good because I like playing Mortar. Um, and interesting to see what Mortar decks can now be used since the bug has changed. Um, Inferno Dragon, Inferno Tower, they've fixed the shield bug where. It, for example, a Dark Prince is charging at your tower and Inferno Dragon melts through his shield. It, the 
the Inferno doesn't reset. It just continues through the shield, through the rest of his health. So he got completely wiped out. And then, guys, we're just going to run through the decks uh, individually. So we've got this Lava Hound deck with the uh, the Skeleton Barrel in there. So that's going to have the death damage. Um, the guards are going to be buffed. Um, the Flying Machine, very, very strong. Gets a lot of value uh, in the right circumstances. The Mega Minion, obviously, great DPS. Um, Lava Hound, Poison. Tombstone in there. Um, because I think that works quite well with the, the guards as a kind of log bait aspect in there. And then you've got the, uh, the Zap and the Poison just to support everything. So I believe if you can build up those really nice uh, Lava Hound pushes, get a Skeleton Barrel in there. When it does actually connect to the tower, it's going to do death damage. And then it's also going to release those Skeletons. And they're going to be very deadly. So I think this is going to be a pretty strong deck. Let me know what you think down below. Um, and then we've got this deck, which is the Spawner deck. A variation of the Music Master deck that has been popularized by him. Uh, the Thunderstruck deck. So we've got the Guards in there instead of the Goblins. And yeah, I really like this Really like this deck. I like the look of it. It looks really, really solid. It is quite expensive for a Minor Cycle, but um, you do have the chip aspect um, of the Furnace, the Goblin Hut, and the Miner in there. So it's going to be really, really strong, and I doubt you'll be able to get through this deck that easily. Okay, then we've got this one, which I'm really interested about. I think Graveyard is going to be very, very strong right now, and I do believe Beatdown is going to be good too. So this is a combination of both. And perhaps not this exact combination of cards, but I do believe some kind of combination of cards like this could be very, very strong. So um, you've got the Giant, you've got the Graveyard, and then you've got all these supporting troops. You've got the Guards in there again. I think they're going to be so strong. You've got the Night Witch to punish with the Giant if you do need to. Uh, the Mega Minion, great uh, defensive support. And then you've got the Inferno Dragon to clear up the tanks as well. Maybe you don't even need the Inferno Dragon in there. Um, but yeah, I do think this is going to be a very, very strong deck. Last but not least, we've got this deck here, which I found on Twitter. I can't remember who, who showed me it. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be really strong. So you've got this, this combination. Ice Wizard Tornado. Going to be very, very strong. Because they didn't touch the Ice Wizard. They didn't touch the, uh, the Tornado in the balance changes. Which I kind of wanted to see both of those cards touched a little bit. Because this combination is just pretty broken, um, in my opinion. And yeah, I think Tornado is going to be very, very strong still. Which is annoying, but yeah, this deck, if you want to take advantage of that, this deck's going to be very good. So you've got the Goblin Hut to chip away, the Miner to chip away, and then all of these kind of very strong defensive cards to assist you in um, stopping the opponent from getting through to your towers. So yeah, I think this is going to be really good. So yeah guys, pretty quick one from me today, but I just want to know all of your thoughts. Just connect with you guys a bit, just know your thoughts on just everything right now. What, what I should do for 5,000 subscribers, what you think of the balances, and what you think of these decks that I've made, whether they're going to be good or not. Um, and what decks you've come up with so comment all of that down below and let's get a discussion going I think that'll be a, a good little thing to do. Thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did then don't forget to leave a like a comment and subscribe Let's hit 5k guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace <laughs>